Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 online video, we're going to be taking a look at the new homes. That's right, houses in GTA Online. They were added in the Independence Day DLC special pack. So if you do like this video or find the information helpful, please feel free to drop a like in the video, guys. I'd really appreciate it. And also be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I'm going to be uploading daily GTA 5 videos and more Independence Day DLC content. So a little sad note about these houses is the interior is all the same. There are no new interiors added to this game. The only thing that is unique about them is the fact that they are individual homes and no longer apartments, and the fact that you have amenities like a backyard and certain areas that you wouldn't really have access to in an apartment. But you can see that it's not like an exclusive locked off area that you can have access to when you're only in your apartment. Really the backyard and any other property parts that's near the house is really there just for show and almost anyone can access it. So you can see this house in Vinewood Hills right here, which I believe is the most expensive one, has a nice backyard area, has a great view of the city, has a pool and some umbrellas, but basically anyone can just walk up and go in there. It isn't exclusively to that apartment owner, which is kind of a down downer and kind of a bummer, but still, it is cool that we can now own homes in Grand Theft Auto Online. I know a lot of you guys were, uh, you know, patiently awaiting that and patiently awaiting the fact when we were going to branch away from apartments and hopefully move into houses, and a lot of you guys got your wish right here. So we're going to be taking a look at these seven homes. Again, they range from around, I believe it's $175,000 all the way down to $118,000, and really, they either vary from six-car garages to two-car garages. The very low-end ones will only have two-car garages garages mainly because they are trailers up in Sandy Shores and Blaine County. So I'm neither really jumping out of my seat or like super depressed about the addition of these homes in Grand Theft Auto Online. I think they are a cool addition. I don't think they're anything groundbreaking, especially due to the fact that there's nothing too special about them other than, like I said, the fact that they are individual homes and are no longer just simple apartments. So I'm going to go into another one right here. Again, this is located near Lester's home. The interior is the same for all of them, which again is a little bit of a downer. You can see I figured it out right here and I said, eh, might as well just leave the apartment nothing to really show for you guys right here but still again it is cool to have homes I love that uh, Rockstar is adding cool things like this into their game and I think eventually we'll maybe be getting some cooler homes some mansions like Franklin's house or even styles like Michael's house that'll be worth you know millions of dollars in the future and you'll have to save up for you know months in advance or buy some crazy shark cards in order to get those homes so hopefully one day in the future we see stuff like that I would love to see like a single player addition home to the game where you could get maybe Trevor trailer Michael's home and Franklin's home into the game I know that would be a very popular DLC pack but let me know what you guys think of these apartments or in these homes I should say in the comment section down below I want to know what you guys think do you think this is cool or do you think it's kind of lame because there isn't a whole lot to do so let me know in the comment section down below also be sure to leave a like if you did enjoy and subscribe if you want to see all my daily videos and of course other GTA 5 related content other than that guys like I said thanks for watching take care and I'll see you guys in the next video